Welcome, welcome back to True Hall of Fame Builds. I'm your host, Michael May. And today, we're going to get into that Michael Beasley build. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, already know what time it is. But listen, man, if you're new here, I need you to subscribe to the channel. Like the video, turn notifications. I want. I really want to get into this build. I really don't want to turn on no damn light, but I know I'm a little dark, but I'll, uh, I'll just lower it all the way down. Um... Michael Beasley is a very Michael Beasley see because some of you guys may be like oh in college he was this way and then in the NBA my man was like my man was with like a million teams Timberwolves the Heat the Knicks like Denver I don't he was with everybody but yeah I know I'm a New York boy so uh we're going to keep it New York all the way. We're going to keep him lefty. Um, give him number eight for the Knicks. Now, I'm going to make this guy a little... I'm going to make him a little different. Why? Well, I remember, I keep telling you, I'm making my power forward, right? I know he's 6'9", but I'm making my 6'10". I know he played the small forward and the power forward, right? I'm making him 6'10". There's a reason for that. He was a super duper... He was a super duper, hold up. He was a super duper post player. He loved to play in the post. He loved to play in the post. So I'm gonna go like this, right? He's gonna be, he's gonna be right there. So this is how I would make him number one. His number one tendency that he loved to do is lay up the ball, right? He loved to lay the ball up and he loved to shoot his middies. He loved to shoot his middies. I'm gonna give him guard up on gold and I'm gonna give him wide open, my open look on um, Hall of Fame. He has the ability to hit the three, so I'm gonna give him a little 70. You know what I'm saying? His free throw wasn't the best, but he was pretty good. I'll give him a little 85, right? So this is what I want to focus on. First of all, let's get this speed up. Let's get this up for now. Because he was a bully, so we're not going to take nothing away from him. His post control. Yeah, I know. I got to give him 92 just so you can have him pluckable. Because I'm going to need you to get busy down there. Because this is, this is what he did, y'all. This is what he did. I'm going to give him the 80 vert. I'm going to give him the 96 stamina, right? So why am I doing that? Because... See, some of y'all may confuse and be like, oh, he should at least, he should at least get, um, he should at least be able to have, um, I would give him a 95 driving dunk. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. He was a put back maestro. Yeah, every now and again, he'll get a dunk. But he was a putback machine. Let's not cap. I've done my research and my homework. Now, his standing dunk ability, I'm not gonna, no, no, I can't give him everything. Right, I'll give him, I'll give him a little decent close shot, right? Cause I wanna at least get off the floor, at least a little fast enough, right? And I'm going to make this, I'm going to show you guys how I would do it for the bum wreck and upper wreck. Now, he had handles, right? So that, that's as far as I'm willing to go with it. Some of y'all guys may want to go over here and give him a 75. He had, he had, a little, he had little handles. Some of y'all guys, see, because some of y'all guys are not comfortable running with it like this. That's what it is. But for the sake of who he is, I would go to 75. Just to give him that physical handles, a little blow by on bronze and all that. But big driver, oh yeah. This is what Beasley did. When Beasley was in the post, he 
he he liked to ram he liked to ram into you and then go up that's what he did that's what he did that's what he did on defense is what we're gonna do here we're gonna give him a little 77 block because I want you guys to have the ability okay so look um I want workhorse and I want 60 because I want off ball pass hold up oh it's, it's 68 right uh let's see what happens yeah I'm not doing it that high now remember I'm making the build according to my play style the way I know I can play with this build so he I would I would give him I would give him that silver box out. I'll give him this little pogo right here. I'll give him that a little bit. I'll give him a little bit of that. Why not? Sure, silver box out. Bronze, cool. Okay, I I'll live with that. Um. Now a little bit of points. I want to put it where it's gonna matter. I need that fast twitch. See, cause this passing was eh, but that's not really what. See, I need that workhorse though. I need that in my life. You gonna give him that seventy-five? Nah. So what we gonna do is, cause he's gonna get all the lobs. He's gonna get all the lob cities he wants. Like I said, Beasley wasn't one to sit there and start doing super windmills and all that. Like, we're not gonna cap. We're not gonna do none of that. So I'll bring this down here. I'll give him a little more stamina, that's cool. I'll bring this up. This is how I would run Michael Beasley, why? Michael Beasley was notorious for driving it and laying it up. That's what that's that. That was his number one go-to move. He was a pull-up shooting monster. The mid-range was his shot. He had the ability to shoot the three, which you have there. He could stand dunk. You know what I'm saying? His standing dunk was definitely it. He loved to play in the post. He loved to back him down. So I gotta give you that goal back down with that with that with that unpluckable. Mind you, y'all, I. I I didn't get a chance to do a super deep dive, but out of the three, four hours that I was able to really watch, though I am already familiar with them, but the hours that I really got to see and looking at his tendencies, see, look, even like this, he wasn't Dwight Howard. He wasn't a Shaquille O'Neal, but I gave you the ability to block the ball, the ability to chase down. That's what he had, the ability, right? He was able to get the rebounds, right? He wasn't... That wasn't his job, let's be clear. But he'll get the rebounds, like, you know, obviously, if he's there, cool. And this build is not a build that you want to go into the random wreck by yourself and you're running and they got you as big man. You're going to want to play with this build. Even if you go into the even if you go into the wreck, make sure you go in there with a big man. And this is going to put you in a position to always have an advantage on the smaller guys. You know what I'm saying? But this is how I would make him, right here. Right here. That's how I would make him. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Harris sounds about right inside the arc. And and y'all know I love that inside the arc, right? Y'all know that, right? I love that. Now what I would do to give him the number eight, like you get on um on the Knicks, Sacramento Kings, and, and you still get number 30. You wanna put him on the heat, you know what I'm saying? 20. I think he's like oh, I think he's like 22 or 20, 24. To have him on the, I just want to, I just want to show you guys how I would upgrade him. Let's pay attention. So pay attention. Look, you're gonna have the pros. Look, you're gonna have pro. You're gonna have all the pros, all the other dunks you're gonna need. You put whatever dunks. I already told you which which ones the good ones was the good ones were. Fine, you don't have the off the off ones, but you have the pros here. 
You're obviously gonna have look you're gonna have under the rim pulls let's let's get it under the rim pulls um you're gonna have the lebron you're gonna have sean kemp um zion is fire like you're gonna have zion you're gonna have blake you're gonna have some strong dunks this is the this is what you need right here this is what you need right here right here right here this is this is the magic this is the magic right here and obviously you have the pro contacts see because to give you 92 just for that that make no sense you're gonna need this you're gonna need this right here that's what makes the whole entire build that's gonna make the entire build but i already know what time it is man i'm your host michael may thank you for being here true hall of fame builds yeah, I already know. So, oh, no, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, I'm wild. For bum wreck purposes, bum wreck purposes, right? Yeah, I already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here. We gonna go here, and we're 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 gonna go here. And we're going to stop at 85, right? Then we're going to go here because we want that workhorse. Hold up. Let's go like this first. Let's put all this up. Bang. We're going to put this up. Bang. We're going to have to put the 80. 80 vert to give you the access to all the dunks. And we'll go right here. Huh. You can go right here because you're not having it on uh, the other thing. Nope. Oh, hold up. So, this is what I would do, right? Okay, we need the driving dunks. We need the driving. Standing. I wanted it on... I want it to rise, but if that's what we're going to take the hit, rise, 72, you'll be fine, I'm still going to give you the 65 standing, right, and then we're going to come, so I, oh, hold on, it's right, I only bought it to 78 to get the silver box out. So I'm not moving that at all. So we don't lose anything with the acceleration. See, look. See how no badges get 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 removed. We're gonna go. So here it goes, y'all. Right here. I will lower this down. I'm showing y'all. I'm showing y'all how I would do it. Um, I want to give you a little more free throws. Now, mind you, you can raise this build all the way up to 99 if you want. That's cool. So, I would go... I want... Let me give you 80. Let me give you the 80 driving layup. 80 driving layup should definitely be more than enough. Right? Um, now, we'll give you a little bit of that. But now, this is what... This is what I really want to do here, Right? So for now, I'm going to lower this free throw to an 80. So right here, what you're going to do is make it right here like this. From, from 90 to 92.9, you're going to raise up all of your three ball. You're going to have more than enough. Then you're going to come and raise up this perimeter defense to 58, which will give you the bronze um off ball past so that way people can't just run right past you they're gonna hit you and then you know what i'm saying so that way you could take those backdoor cuts now now that's the build i wanted to show you guys you already know what time it is man i'm your host michael may thank you for being here for hall of fame builds you already know subscribe to the channel like the video to notification until next time yeah